Oh, hi, this is Miss Collins Lee. We're going to talk about my favorite thing to do in Photoshop. Make selections. It gives me a lot of power and control over what I can put and what it can go. So look at this. Menu, select menu, all, and deselect. Sometimes you'll want to select the entire picture. If we select all, we'll have marching ants all the way around. Maybe you want to invert the colors. Maybe you want to delete everything. It's there for you if you want to make it all go. If you want to get rid of those marching ants, you just come up here and you do deselect. Or on my keyboard, I'm going to make a candy. I'm going to make a little candy. You see up here, menu, select them all and off. Let me know that that's something you want to do. Okay. Select menu all, select menu deselect. Our new toolbox is three tools that will help you make uh, selections as well. The marquee tool for specific shapes. You can do rectangles, you can do squares. In fact, if I hold down the shift key, it will plop them here, it plop it here. It doesn't matter where I move my cursor, as long as I have the shift down, it constrains it, it holds it, constraint, holds it into a square. Plop them over here. Option A, yeah. I can do the same thing with the oval tool or the ellipse, excuse me. You can make oval, but if I hold down the shift key, can only make a perfect circle. Option two. Now the lassos, you can make irregular or geometric shapes with these. The lasso, you just draw, and pop in the top. You got an ir organic shape, irregular shape. If I use the polygon tool, it is a click, drag, click, drag, click, drag. You can get straight sided shapes. When you come back, you should see a little zero next to the tool. Option zero. Some people find out at this point, um, if you come here and you want to like finish off the triangle, you just double pause, double click, and you'll get that second half or the next edge of the shape. I'm not being too clear enough, but I think you can see what to do there. I'm going to pop some color in there. Okay. Now, sometimes I make too big of, a, of a selection. Let me just come over here. I want this, but maybe I want a half a circle. If I hold down the option key while I'm doing this and pick up the square one, I can cut away from the selection. Let me do that again. I'm going to take the oval, the oval selection, take the rectangle one, I'm going to hold them down on the option key, and I'm going to cut off half of it. This works with any of the selections that you can do with the marquee. You can do this with the lasso. Now, what if I wanted to add on to this? I can take that same tool or any of the um, selection tools and hold down the shift key, which I'm doing right now. Oh, see that little plus, plus sign? Okay, well, let me add on. And I'm adding on to the shape. So when I pop in the color, I have a gap. That's the shift and the option. Option cuts away, shift lets you add on to the selection. Now, one of the fun ones to use is the magic wand. It selects a series of colors based on its tolerance. If I put this all the way up here, let me just grab some candy. Let me do a tolerance of 100. Okay. Let's see if I can take out 150. And then put it here like this. It selects pretty much everything until it hits an edge. Okay. If I take this down here, well, let me show you. Let me get really close up down there. I did this. Let's go ahead and do this. You don't do anything over 32. Now watch. It didn't take up the whole thing. If I come up here and do this by 50, now I'm going to keep selecting it in the same spot. Oh, it picks up more because I've increased the tolerance. How many colors it will tolerate. Now let's go back to 32. And let's try it again over here. And then I hold down the shift key and double on the selection. It picks up more. If I hold down the option key, I can cut away from it. I can do that again. Click, click. And then, oh, two. Click, click, and I cut 12. Then I keep down to one selection. Really small. If you're picking up too much, more than you want, make the tolerance lower. If you want to increase the number, make it higher. I try not to go over 32. I just have a few little bigger selections. And that's how I do everything. Select all, deselect, use that shift key for complaint, add on, subtract, and try these all out. Use the magic wand. Bye-bye.